flows instead of trying to get love start giving love all of us are trying to get love we need love but nobody is willing to give or share love and the secret of love is rather than thinking how to get love start giving start sharing if you give if you share you get there is no other way people are more interested in how to grab and get everybody is interested in getting and nobody seems to enjoy giving or sharing people give very reluctantly if ever they give they give only they give only in order to get back they are almost business like it is a bargain they always go on watching to make sure that they get more than what they give then it is a, then it is a good bargain a good business and the other is doing the same everybody is doing the same thing love is not a business so stop being business like as far as love is concerned a flower when it shares its beauty and fragrance and luster it is not a business like it is out of sheer overflow sheer joy otherwise you will miss your life and love both and all that is beautiful in it because all that is beautiful is not at all business like my love for you is a sharing it is an overflow not business like i don't look into whether you are returning my love or not but it is certain when you share you get it in many fold but it is not a business business is the ugliest thing in the world a necessary evil but existence knows nothing of business the sunlight the moonlight the light of the stars all is sharing let your love be a sharing trees blossom it is not a business the stars shine it is not a business and you don't have to pay for it and nobody demands anything from you your love should be that you do not for my love you do not have to pay me anything a bird comes and sits at your door and sings a song but the bird will not ask you for a certificate or some kind of appreciation he has sung the song and then happily he flies away leaving no trace behind such is the life overflowing love how to start the journey is start becoming more and more a witness whatever you do do it with deep alertness then even small things become secret that cooking <coughs> or cleaning becomes secret <coughs> even your sex becomes secret they become worship it is not a question of what you are doing the question is how you are doing it are you aware of it or not you can clean the floor like a robot you can make love like a robot a mechanical thing you have to clean it you have to make love for continuation of the relationship then you miss something beautiful 
then you waste those moments in only cleaning the floor. Cleaning the floor, cooking the food, making love could have been a great experience and you missed it. The floor is clean now, but something could have happened within you as well. Not only something happens on the outside, but deep within a fulfillment comes also. If you had been aware, not only the floor, you would have felt a deep cleansing, deep, deep cleansing within. Clean the floor, full of awareness, luminous with awareness. Cook your food with alertness, luminous and awareness. Make love whatsoever you are doing. Do it with awareness, luminous, with total awareness. It will transport you in a totally a different realm. Walk or sit or walk, but one thing has to be continuous thread. Make more and more moments of your life luminous with awareness incandescent with awareness. Let the candle of awareness burn in each moment, in each act. The cumulative effect is what enlightenment is. The cumulative effect of all the moments together, all the small candles together become a great source of light, great source of evolution. Nobody loves anything more than freedom. Even love is secondary to freedom. Freedom is the highest, is of highest value. Love can be sacrificed for freedom, but freedom cannot be sacrificed for love. Love has nothing to do with the other. A loving person simply loves just as an alive person breathes and drinks and eats and sleeps. Exactly like this, a really alive person, a loving person loves without any restriction. You don't say unless there is a perfect air unpolluted, I am not going to breathe. You go on breathing even wherever you are, Los Angeles, Mumbai or any other place, wherever you are. You go on breathing everywhere, even when the air is polluted, poisoned. You go on breathing, there are inner filters. You cannot afford not to breathe just because the air is not as it should be. Yes, the purification of the air is a totally different matter. Such nonsense ideas have settled in our heads. You have to do continuous cleaning Whenever you see some nonsense in your head, clean it, throw it away. There is a way that when a floor is dirty, you clean it. When you see it, but of course the process of inner cleaning is slightly different. If you are clear and clean in your mind, about what you are doing, why you are doing, you will be able to find solutions for every problem that arises in your life. All lovers are in trouble. The trouble is not personal. It is the very nature of things. 
they would not have been. From 35 to 42, a new step, a new door opens. If up to the age of 35, you have felt deep harmony and orgasmic feeling and you have discovered meditation through it, then from 35 to 42, you will help each other grow, go more and more into that meditation without sex. Because this, at this point, sex starts looking childish and juvenile. But if you have missed your breakfast, what can I do? I have to serve you breakfast as lunch time. The age of 42 is the time when a person should be able to know exactly who he or she is. From 42 to 49, he goes deeper and deeper into meditation, more and more into himself and helps the partner in the same way. The partners become friends. There is no more husband and there is no more wives. That is the stage. Through my effort, I am bringing you into. It has been, it has given its richness to your life and it will give richness to your life. Now there is something growing that is even higher than love. But before that, you have to see what is higher than sex. Higher than sex is love and there is something. But if you have not crossed that stage, you will not know what is higher than love. And what is higher than love? It is friendliness, a compassionate relationship to help the other to grow deeper into himself or herself, to become more independent, to become more alone, just like two tall trees standing separate but is still close to each other, or like two pillars of a temple supporting the same roof, standing so close but also so separate and independent and alone. That is the relationship, that is the way of relating I am leading you into. Inside yourself, try to see it. The other is never responsible. Remember that as a mantra. The other is never responsible for anything that happens to you. Pain, pleasure, happiness, sorrow or anything. How you react to it, that determines the state of pain or pleasure or fulfillment. Enough for now.